Hey Vegas fam, it's your girl T here. Um, I thought I'd come at you with another video. I am going to talk today about anxiety. I know I just did a video on it, but today I am. And if you hear any noises, my dog is playing in her bed and it's rattling. But um, I went out today and... I was like, I had an appointment, so I had to go to it. But then I was like, well, while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and stop at the store. And here lately, I've been craving hot Cheetos. So I was like, I'm going to go in here and get my hot Cheetos. <clears throat> and give me some juice because my sugar has been, like, super low. And give me some juice so I can get my sugar back up. And I was like, okay, and I'm going to go do this and I'm going to go do that. And I'm just like, no. So I went in the Family Dollar and... I was like, okay, there's not a lot of people in here, so I'm going to do some shopping. Well, while I'm in there, you know, my brain is like doing 125. Like, just going everywhere, thinking of everything. And there was this couple in there, and they were like older than me. And they were just acting a, a fool. I, I wanted to cuss, but I'm not going to. But they was like, like acting a fool. I'm just like, why? Like, y'all are grown adults. Is this necessary? So, by this time, I like I said, I, like I do in Walmart, I cut everything short. Whatever was in my basket, I'm leaving. I, If I didn't get whatever else I wanted, oh well. So I get up to the counter, and they're like in line before me because I take the long way to the register because I just don't like cutting through people to get down the aisle to get to the register. So I take the long way around and I get up to the register and by the time I get up there to get my spot, they're like, oh, you can go on. And I was like, oh, no, you're, you know, you were here before me. You know, I, I wasn't going to be rude. And <clears throat> the guy was like, oh, no, you can go on. Um, I haven't decided what kind of candy I wanted. I'm just like, You've been standing here for a while. Because y'all been loud since I've been in the store. And I haven't been in there for a good, what, five, maybe ten minutes max. Because I know our family dollar. Like, I can go in there grabbing whatever it is and get back out. Like, y'all been in here for a while. Like, y'all didn't walk in after me. Y'all was in here when I came in. And I was just like, okay, well, anyway. So, I checked out. And I was like, okay, now I'm going to go to this other store. And I'm going to go, you know, and no. It wasn't even that. And anxiety will get me so bad that I was like, okay, I'm going to go one way to go get a pizza. And then I was like, no. My mom was like, let's go the other way to go get a pizza. And I'm just like, yeah. The things that my mom does when it's in, when it's on anxiety overload. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. But I, um... Earlier, when I got in the van, and my baby daddy know that I cannot stand that van being dirty. I mean, just that simple that he has a, oh gosh, is it a pair of pliers and a wrench? I don't, I don't know tools like that. But there's two tools in the floor in between the passenger and driver's seat. Hmm. Yeah, it drives me crazy. And then, of course, my gym shoes are in there that I need to get out. But only because I wear my slides out the door, 9 times out of 10, and I have those to um, to put on when I go to the gym just because I decided to go to the gym last minute. And I can't put it in my gym bag because I don't want those dirty shoes in my gym bag. But, um, it, like, just the thought of the van was dirty, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, I think people can see the inside of my van. When it's just like the floorboard needs vacuumed. The tools on the floor and my shoes. I might have a water bottle in there. But stuff like that just triggers my anxiety to where it is just like overload. And like I said before, I I try not to take my medicine because when I take it, and the medication that I'm on for me to stay calm with my anxiety, it's actually a medication that puts me to sleep like it makes me sleep, and it'll make me really feel, the only word I know how to say is high. I feel like really high. And I, I don't like that feeling, because when I'm that, when I feel that, 
I can't drive. I can't comprehend. And, and it's not safe for me to be behind the wheel of anything when I'm like that. So I try to avoid taking it as much as possible. But if I take it like I'm supposed to, then I would never wake up. Like I mean, I would, I, I would wake up, but it would be like I could wake up, <clears throat> do what I got to do, and then go back to bed. What's about the time I was taking them on a regular? And, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is something you'd have to laugh at because... As I say, hashtag fat girl problems. And this is truly a fat girl problem. Um, I took my medicine and the levels was in my system really, really strong. Like it was they were on point of what it was supposed to be. And the baby daddy was at work, so I was in the bed by myself. And I remember the day before him going to Kroger's and I think they had a sale on little Debbie cakes. <laughs> I remember him coming home with a Kroger bag full of a variety, I mean a variety of boxes of Little Debbie cakes, oat milk cakes, raisin cakes, um, I think the strawberry swirl, Swiss rolls, um, I can't even remember it because it's been that long ago. I mean, those cakes lasted a while uh, because my sugar is why well, we keep stuff like that in the house because my sugar is known to like just bottom out on me and we have to get sugar in me instantly now granted yes i do have the sugar tabs i've misplaced them don't know what i've done with them so we normally try to um uh, keep some kind of sweets around for me to eat instantly when i need to eat them and i remember him leaving to go to work i remember waking up and going to the bathroom i remember this but I don't remember getting the Swiss roll, and I do not, and I mean do not, like Swiss rolls. I am not a big fan of those cakes. And it would have to be, like, the last thing in the house, and I have to eat it, because I don't like it. I'm not a big chocolate fan. I don't like chocolate like that. But I had woke up <laughs> the next morning, because we have a routine of, you know, I get up and I'll make coffee, and I feed my dog, and... All this other stuff, like, and let the dog, you know, do what I gotta do with her and to get my day started. And I woke up to make the bed. And somehow I went to sleep with the Swiss roll. The Swiss roll was all in my bed. Oh, you wanna talk about what's really sad? Oh, I was sad. I was mad. I was heated. I was boiling fire. All the above oil and water I was just Ugh. and after that I realized that that medication really just yeah it wasn't the best to take if I didn't really have to take it if I can try to get myself to calm down suppress the anxiety then I was okay I didn't I didn't need it like that but yeah that night really broke me of the we're not keeping <laughs> no kind of junk food in the bedroom anymore. No matter what, if my sugar drops in, we need to get me or, you know, bring me X amount of something to make sure I eat it before I go back to sleep. Yeah, I still tell that story to this point today. And I'm like, fat girl problems, but only because of my sugar. But yeah, I mean, with this medication, it'll have me doing stuff that I don't know I did. I know I got up to do this, but I end up doing this too. So it's kind of like a damn if I do, damn if I don't situation. It's kind of like a how do you do it? So in the comments down below, leave me things on what you do or what you know of someone else doing to help with their anxiety and how they deal with it and if they're on medication for it. You don't have to tell me what kind it is or anything like that. Just, you know, how they go about handling it. Um, like I said, I try not to take mine as much as possible, but I don't take it. And I go out. I I can think of 20 things I can do. I'm going to go here and do this. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go do this. And I'm going to stop by here and see how this is. Or, you know, and I just, no. I don't know what it is. That after I get around more than, I, I don't want to say there's a number of people. But once I get around X amount of people and there's so much going on, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I got to go. Like, I got to get myself out of this. And it causes a lot of problems here because where the baby daddy works three jobs, I'm normally the one home all day. Um, when I don't have the grand baby, I'm normally the one home. So I normally try to be the one to run the errands and stuff and get stuff done that I need to get done. And no, mm-mm. 
can't do it. I just, it's really, it's really, I don't know, I wouldn't say crazy, but this is how I would word it. It's not, it's not normal. And no one should ever feel like them having anxiety is <clears throat> um, a reason to feel like they're not like everybody else. There's a lot of people who have it and just don't want to admit to it. But anyway, I just thought I'd come on here and rant, chit chat for a minute because I just got home and I actually got myself to calm down. And I just wanted to put out another video that about anxiety because I had a breakdown today. And I hope you all having a great day and I hope you are staying warm because it is nice and cold here. It's, it's not snowing really bad like they thought they said. Well, like it's not snowing as bad as they said it was going to. We actually are just getting flurries and I'm loving it. But anyway, stay warm, stay safe, subscribe, comment, ring that bell, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And remember, much love.